Hello, this is Jason McConnell, and this quick tip covers rotating, scaling, and moving patterns inside of objects using the tilde key, which is the squiggly key below the escape key on a US keyboard. Let's say, for example, we want to rotate this plaid in the sleeve so it follows the angle of the sleeve. One way to do it would be to select it, double click on the rotate tool, make sure you only select patterns, otherwise, if you select objects, it's going to rotate the object also. And then enter your angle. And by the way, you can hit the arrow keys to tweak the angle. In this case, I'm hitting the up arrow and it's increasing the angle. And hit OK. And that works out good, but there's a faster way to do it. Let's select the other sleeve. Go to the rotate tool. And this time we'll rotate it, but we'll hold the tilde key. So holding the tilde key, I'll click and drag with the rotate tool. And I just rotated it on the object. All right, so that's a little bit faster than going into the tool options. All right, the next thing we'll do is move the pattern around inside. So we'll try to line up this plaid so it meets up on the sleeve here. Take the direct select tool hold the tilde key and drag and you can move the pattern around and I'll do it on this sleeve too and by the way as long as you hold the tilde key and you're on the direct select tool you can hit the arrow keys here too the other way that you would move patterns around inside would be to double click the selection tool and then check off patterns here and not the object and the last thing that we'll cover is scaling the pattern inside. So in this case, I'll take the magic wand and select all of these plaids. Go to the scale tool. And I usually go from a corner, in or out, depending on if I'm going to scale in or out. Hold the tilde key. And in this case, I'll make it larger. Hold the tilde key, and you'll probably want to hold the shift key too, and that keeps the proportions the same. And note that if you have smart guides on, you'll see the percent that you're scaling it to. All right, so I made it larger. If I want to make it smaller, just hold the tilde key. And I'm holding shift also. Go inward. And you made it smaller. All right, that's it for the tilde key. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.